We are now going to see how to generate plots for profile, gradients and big gradients. So we go back to IDS application folder and choose IDS plotter and launch it. which needs some time. As for the IDX gradients big gradient generator, we've got uh, the, the fine nature to choose uh, to begin. And within the pop-up menu, we've got three options, profiles, gradients, and big gradients. We are going to consider first option, profiles, and we validate our choice. So now, We've got the banner plotting highest profiles and we can go to the second tab profile settings. We need to define the files to plot and the output folder pass at minima. But here we are going to define the highest profiles main folder clicking on the related button. And we are going to use a lap and test lap uh, folder. For the uh, plots we want to save them within the labs folder, within a test, within a subfolder, for instance, called test uh, test profiles. Profiles. Okay, choose it. If you want to find again these global default settings next time, we just have to update preference files. Now we can uh, go to Profiles to Plot tab. We now add files. We select all of them. And uh, within this array, we see that for each file, we've got a scaling parameter, which is for the moment by default scaled. We can select any file and switch from uh, scale to unscaled and activate the change or change all the status to scaled to unscaled or from unscaled to scaled. We are only considering the scaled case in this demonstration. So now uh, the launch plotting button is activated so we can click on it in order to launch the plotting operation. It opens a finder window within test profile subfolder as we have chosen and within it we've got uh, four PDF files and these four, four PDF files have the, exactly the same uh, beginning, the same radical for the file name as the uh, profiles we have selected. So using for instance Aperceu we can switch from one profile to the other and see that it's uh, the same scale which have been used for all of them. For a given profile, you've got highest profile with the name of the file. You've got the min level in full scale DB here. You've got the subband by subband, the relative weight in relative DB. And we've got the plot. Only one line because we are considering a monophonic uh, file and uh, here we've got the information about the frequency used for the mapping and at the top of the figure we've got an indication of the subband for instance from 0 to 50 we are in the first subband here within the sixth subband we are going from 1200 to 1.8 kHz for instance and we've got something which is rather similar for all of the files. That's for the profiles. We can do something rather similar for the gradients. We just have uh, in the pop-up menu to select the gradients and uh, activate the choice. Now the banner is plotting highest gradients and we are going to define settings within gradient settings tab. We choose uh, within lap the folder test grad and uh, within uh, and we have to define the output folder path so we choose ideas gradient figure folder and 
as it's safer or more easy to refine our data, we create, uh, for instance, a test grad subfolder and choose it. If we want to refine uh, this configuration for the for both paths uh, next time, we just have to update preference files. Now we also need to define the selection of file plots. So we go to gradient support tab. We add files, and uh, we can switch also. Uh, the scaled or unscaled status using uh, uh, this, uh, these buttons. We are considering only the scaled case within these demonstrations. So now we can launch plotting because the launch plotting button is activated. And we have three gradients selected. It opens the files window. And within we've got test grad subfolder and within test grad and within test grad subfolder we've got uh, three uh, PDF file corresponding to our three gradients to plot. With aperçu we can switch from uh, any of them. And as for the IDS profile we've got some information. Uh, the reference IDS profile Sean Ecoic. The compared IDS profile, Chance 104. We've got the difference between the mid level in DBA phase. We've got uh, subband by subband the relative uh, weight in, in DB, which corresponds to the difference uh, of uh, both uh, subband weights. And we also have the information about the uh, subband limits at the bottom. For instance, for some band uh, numero 3, we go from 200 to 400, and we've got the indication of the relative subbands on the top of the figure. Okay, that's for the plotting of gradients. Now we can also plot uh, big gradients. We just have to choose big gradients within the pop menu. Uh, activate our choice and now we've got plotting IDS by gradients. We then go to big gradient settings tab and define which are the big gradients to use. So within a uh, lap uh, test big rod for instance and we also need to define the output folder path so we choose it uh, using the choose IDS big gradients figures folder button. We choose lab subfolder and create a subfolder within it, for instance, a test uh, big rad. And within uh, the subfolder, all plots will be localized. We choose test big rad. And if we want to have the same default uh, settings next time, we can update preference file. We still have to define the files to plot, so we go to Big Gradients to Plot tab and we add files. We only have two. And uh, now uh, we can set the uh, scaling option, but I've said that we will only consider scale option uh, within this demonstration. And we see that two Big Gradients are selected and we can launch uh, plotting processing. Uh, using the launch plotting button. It opens a finder window within test big rad subfolder and within it we have two PDF file uh, related to the two big gradients to plot. Using aperceu we can switch uh, between both and constate that we've got the same kind of uh, information than for the gradients. That's to say we've got the reference highest gradients, an echoic versus and uh, the uh, information about the compare IDS gradients, which is anechoic versus Chant RG. Uh, we've got the mean big gradients value in DB, and we for and for each subband we've got the indication of the relative uh, big gradients level. We have only one curve because we are 
considering a monophonic uh, set of files. We've got the information about the subbands limits at the bottom of the figure, and we've got the indication of the relative subband number here on the top of the figure. It's the same for both plots. Okay, so uh, it is how we can use the highest plotter in order to plot high the highest profiles, highest gradients, or highest big gradients. Now we have finished and we can quit the application just by clicking on the quit button.